hi everyone this is irec e you're welcome to this tutorial in this video we are going to look at how you can publish multiple sheets or draw into a plotter in a pdf format without a third party software and if you like this video make sure to give us a thumbs up subscribe for more autocad tips let's begin This is an architectural complete drawing. We are going to publish all of these sheets in one PDF file. To do so, I'm just going to switch over to the layout paper space. Now, this is an A3 full bleed paper space. And for more information on how you can do a page setup, I'm going to link a video on the description box of this one. So you can refer to that video later. Moving on, I'm just going to create a viewport inside of this paper space by clicking on the layout and then picking rectangle. So I create from this point to this point don't bother about the way the drawing appears it has everything to do with the page setup and you will learn that on the video linked below so the next thing is to double click inside the viewport to activate model space so i double click and you can see at this point i can zoom in and out all right if i double click outside i can zoom the entire viewport then I double click inside, I can view inside. But however, this line here can be deleted. Of course, if you go to the model space, you see the line. So even if I delete it from the layout, it will be deleted here as well. Moving on, we are going to type Z for zoom, enter. I can zoom the first sheet. So I click outside. Now here, if I want to assign a specific scale to it, all I have to do is to double click inside the viewport to activate the model space and then come down to this place and click on the scale. So here, let's select one is to 160. Now you know that you're publishing this on a scale one is to 160. Then you double click outside and you have the first sheet then next is to go to the layout and right click so here we are going to move or copy this window opens up move to end then create a copy say okay we have the second sheet here so we are going to click on layout 2 to activate the layout 2 then the next thing is to double click inside the viewport once again you can zoom down and then type z enter then zoom the second sheet enter then double click outside and then here we also have to specify a given scale for this but the problem here is that the scaling is not going to be consistent because looking at it from the model space you notice that the title block for the site plan is not the same with these other title blocks so these ones are going to have the same scale while the ones of this size are going to have the same scale so let's move on here we are going to set up a scale by double clicking this to activate the model space and then click on the scale here we can set this as 1 is to 120 we we'll double click outside and that is it this other one we have 1 is to 160 and this we have 1 is to 120 the layout 6 we can't find it here so all you have to do is to click on this arrow you are going to see display there then select the layout 6 in layout 7 there's a problem the scale seem to be way larger than the paper space if we go to preview it we are going to notice that the external borders of the title block in this other side it didn't show up so we are going to scale it down in order to fit into our paper space since 1 is to 160 didn't fit in we are likely going to scale it down a bit by choosing 1 is to 170 and 1 is to 170 millimeter is not displayed here so what we are going to do is to create one by clicking on custom add and we are going to type 1 is to 170 all right then on that drawing unit say 170 click on ok so it will enlist here then we are going to say ok in that case when we go to our scaling is going to show up here one is to 170 so once i click on it however the one is to 170 don't seem to be large enough 
all we are going to do is to double click inside once again and maybe make it 1 is to 180 and because we can't find 1 is to 180 there we create it so I click on this and choose 1 is to 180 and here we have it now we can see that 1 is to 180 is the right scale for this double click outside now after setting up the right scale for our drawings, the next thing is to make sure that this viewport line does not appear on the printing. For example, if we go to preview this now, go to plot and preview, you're going to notice that the line of the viewport is also included there. So I'm going to close this, close this and then select that line and make sure then go to layer and change it to depth point and it will not print at the end of the day so if we go back to preview you're going to notice it's no longer there then i close it and close this again and if on your layer properties you don't have depth point all you have to do is to create a new one and name it depth point then it will not print automatically Finally, we are going to publish all of these sheets right now. So how to do that? You click on the app menu here and then go publish. This window comes up having all of the sheets inside of it. Now the next place you can find this window. Let's cancel this. Sorry, I cancel this. The next place you can find that is to go to app menu once again and go to print so here you see batch plot then i click on it so first of all you cannot print all of these with the model file on it so we are going to select it and remove it from the list by clicking on this icon here then to add you have to click on this as you can see add sheet so once you click on it you can navigate through and add whatever you want to add to it and here um you can select any of the sheets and move it down or up depending on your order of preference so here i'm just going to move the layout one up once again then another thing is that prior to this time you might decide to change the names maybe to page one page two page three depending on what you want to do all right the next thing we are going to do here is to go to precision and we choose for architecture because it's architectural drawing and then we publish and then we can call it um, PDF combination you can pick desktop as your location then select here I say do you want to save the current list of sheets say yes say close and then and then close once again so at the end of the day we move to desktop to open the published file so here is it so we have all the files here as you can see all in one however when you're printing you can pinpoint a particular page and print that out now with this we've come to the end of this tutorial and if you have not subscribed to this channel please do so for more autocad tips like this thanks for watching and see you in the next video